In this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be the best base defense in Madden 21 right now. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how to become the best Madden player that you can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to let you know that I upload videos every single day that can help you get better on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so, like I said, if you want to get better, I want to encourage you to subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe. And as you're watching this video, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button at the bottom of your screen. If you don't enjoy the content, then hit the thumbs down button. That way I can know kind of how you guys are enjoying the content. Now in this video, we're specifically focusing in on why the nickel 335 wide is the best defense in the game. About 75% of you would agree with me on the poll that the nickel 335 wide is special. It's very, very effective. It's probably the best defense in Madden 21. And the reason why is because it can do a lot of different things. Um, now my uh, I got a comment that asked basically if I could share with them my zone drops. Now my preferred zone drops are 30 yards for flats, 20 yards for curl flats, and 5 yards for hook curls. The reason, Two reasons why. The first reason why is flat zones um, typically do a little bit better of a job as your deeper zone in your Mabel coverage. Okay, So they do a better job at stopping crossing routes and corner routes and um, things like that that cause problems. Okay. Curl flat zones typically do a little bit better job at stopping curl routes, out routes, and other things like that. So we can kind of tinker this a little bit as well. If we want to drop it down to 25 and 5, we can. If we want to go to 20 and maybe even 0, you can do that as well. But really the primary starting point is this right here. Um, the reason I like the 5-yard hook curls is because they do a really good job on hitches and option routes and drag routes and things like that. Okay. Option defense is going to be on conservative, ball in air defense to play ball. And what we want to do is we want to basically put all of our line, our safeties in the game. We want to put them at linebacker, and then we want to put corners at safety. Um, now, the play that we're going to be talking about specifically is the cover four show two from the 335 wide. I believe it's the most um, universal and adaptable defense that you can possibly run right now in Madden 21 because of the fact that that you can run it as a match coverage, you can run it as a drop zone coverage, and then you can also run it as a match drop coverage. And what I, I'm gonna show you today, how to run this as a match drop coverage. So we're gonna call it play cover four drop from three through five, but really we're gonna be audibling down into the cover four show too, as you can see right here. And basically what we wanna do is, depending on how many vertical threats they have, that is gonna determine how many people we are gonna drop into the deep side of the field. So for example, um, if we divided, the, cover four divides the field into four quarters. There's one quarter on the far left, there's one quarter at the left hash, there's one quarter at the right hash, and then there's one quarter on the right number. So if you think about it, um, let me just show you through King, if you see here, I've got King. This would be the left right here. This is the left hash. The right hash is right here, and then the right numbers is right here. So what we want to do is if we notice about trips tied in a couple things. First and foremost, there is no reason for this coverage because there's no vertical threat. So I can just go ahead and throw him into a cloud flat at 30 yards and guess what? That's going to stop a lot of what people like to run. A lot of what people like to run, that's going to stop it. So that's option that's that's one thing we can do. Um, another thing we could do is we know that the trip side end, a lot of people like to run angle routes. So we can drop this defensive end into a bluff blitz. As you can see, it's a three red hook zone, which is basically because we're running cover four quarters match, it will match on to running back angle routes. It will do a really good job on routes of the backfield. It won't always do that. It's kind of finicky a little bit, but it will basically drop over the middle of the field for us. And then on the left side, um, on the left side, because there's so much more space for the defense to attack, um, we can't necessarily say with confidence that we can just say, you know, we, we're just going to play cover two here. And the reason why is because we basically run out of people. Essentially, what's going to happen is, let's say, uh, let's say, for example, they send circle deep and square deep. Well, at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is that that inside quarter is going to take one of them, but the other one is going to get open, as you can see. So 
based on the vertical threat, determines what we call. So I'll give you another example. Let's say one of the one of the popular uh, con uh, one of the popular tactics from an offense like trip set in is to motion over. So if we if we're playing cover two with this right here, then let's say they motion over the triangle receiver. So what they might do is they might do something like this. Okay, send everybody deep. But when they motion over. All we're going to simply do is we're going to man up that blitzing linebacker onto the triangle receiver. And what you'll see is that man coverage will basically follow him up the seam and we'll catch up and we'll swap the ball down. Triangle is the, the, the most important player in the quarter defense. The most important player is the blitzing linebacker. And the reason why is because he has the power to basically save your defense of any issues. For example, another thing that we could do is we could drop this linebacker into a um, a cloud flat or a hard flat. Remember, we put those at a certain amount or a certain depth. The reason why this is significant is let's say they run a little bit of a traditional flood. Well, what you're going to see is that that guy is going to drop right into that area and be able to make a play on the ball. Again, there are several, th several things that you can do with this. My recommendation to you as far as the initial adjustment that I would put that guy on is I would man him up onto the circle receiver. And then if they motion somebody else, so let's say, for example, they're motioning, um, let's say they motion triangle, then I'm going to immediately man him up on a triangle. As you see right here, I make a quick adjustment. We man him up. Now triangle is on a little motion slant, and as you see, that cross man basically takes that away. That is how you can really master the 335 wide defense. You have to understand quarters coverage, meaning vertical threats. So for every vertical threat, we're going to have a quarter on that side. So for example, uh, let's say let's say I was facing somebody that was running um, the gun bunch. So I'll show you. I'll, we'll talk about that just briefly here. So they, they go to gun bunch. Well, if you take a look at gun bunch, um, we always want to have our slot on the strong side. So we're going to flip this, but. But basically what you're going to see here, and of course I have my, my controller locked up, so give me one second. But with, with Gun Bunch, there's only one vertical thread on the left, and there's two on, or there's three on the right. Uh, but again, it all comes back to this, this theory of hash mark, and, and that's really what we're trying to show you here. So, um, so you'll see something like this right here. We go down to this cover four show two, we set up our defense exactly the same as trip side in, right? It looks very similar. The only difference is we're going to man up on the circle. Now, wherever, if, if they motion, they can only motion out circle. So they can't, they can't send anybody more vertical than that. So then what's going to happen is what they're going to do is they're going to take this guy right here, Austin, and they're going to motion him to the left side of the field, the formation. Well, if they do that, again, we make one quick little adjustment and we've completely taken that away as well. And so they cannot now beat us vertically. They split it perfectly and the defense dominates. That is why the 3-3-5 wide defense, especially the quarters concept, is so, so effective. And I cannot tell you how much better your defense is going to be for you after you learn the 3-3-5 wide defense. And so if you want to learn the complete 3-3-5 wide defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link for you in the description of this video. You can get that full defensive guide right now for just $15. It will literally walk you through the match coverages, the zone drop coverages, the man coverages, as well as all of the run defenses and blitzes and user rushes and kind of glitches that you can do to really make your defense lock down. So if you want to start stopping people in Madden 21, I want to encourage you to get my nickel 335 wide defensive guide. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to get that guide, it is available down in the description.